Hey, this is Wayne Norris with Little Creek Pottery. I've got a little tip I'm going to show you that's not turning related or glaze related. It's a little something about my pottery wheel. I was sitting here cleaning up, uh, cleaning it out, getting a slip out of the bottom of it, clean it up a little bit before I go to turning in just a little bit. And it just sort of hit me that there's something that I did to my splash pan or had to do to my splash pan that might be a little help to you. So I'm going to show you here. I've got it laying upside down. And as you can see, um, because of the weight that I put on the wheel, I had a crack that developed over time right in here at this joint because the weight that I put on my arms pressing in, on here standing up throwing. Now sitting down it's not as quite as much I issue because you put more of the weight on your legs. Throwing you have a tendency to put the weight on the splash pan. So it cracked and I was sort of determined that hey I'm going to just build me a wooden splash pan and put around it like a lot of other potters uh, that I know have done and I proceeded to start to building one and then as I got it about built uh, the it sort of hit me that hey I can just epoxy and put some fiberglass on that and make it work so that's what I did I uh, mixed me up some two part epoxy and spread it around all the way around not just in the crack area after I cleaned it and dried it real well I roughed it a little bit sanded it so it would make it a little bit coarse so it stick better then I had me some fiberglass and I spread the epoxy on it I cut it to width and put it on here and spread it down with that with the epoxy let it dry a little bit then come back with a couple other coats of epoxy and that seemed to work real well it's uh, very strong very durable now so it works real well and then I'll show you another little thing that I did let me slide her back on here what I did is I took me a piece of wood and I sort of cut it with a little um, half round here and I take this wood to help support my wheel and I put it right up under the edge here to help support where that weight was pushing down on it and so when I push down the weight pushes down on that wood and hopefully that will make my pan last a little bit longer so that's a little tip that I was going to wanted to give you and I hope that's helpful a little short tip and I'm fixing to do some big mugs in just a minute and video turning that and I'm going to post that as well uh, as well as me making a face mug because that's what I'm uh, doing these for to get them ready to do face mugs. So I hope that helps and good luck. And as Simon Leach says, keep practicing and I hope this helps out. Bye.